This is an example of showing you how to do an integral to get uh, the total current when you have current density. So the definition of current density is J is equal to the current per cross-sectional area. Now, if you have a wire where the current is not uniform throughout the wire, so for example, if it's an AC current and it's a high frequency, you tend to get a skin effect where you have much more current on the edges of the wire than you do in the middle of the wire. And so let's assume that this is distributed as some function of R. So this is, this is zero to R will be the radius of this wire. So this is wire and then this is current going this way. So in order to get the total current, you would need to know what the functional relationship of the current density is to R. So I'll just make something up J. Let's say it's six R squared. So this cross section, um, it's a parabolic increase in current density as you move towards the edges of the wire. So if we want to know the total current, we solve for I. And if J is not constant, this becomes an integral where we have J and then we have to break that cross sectional area into little area units dA. And we've done this many times in the past. Remember, if you're wanting to get the area of a circle and you're integrating, you create little rings. The thickness of the rings is dr. The area of the ring, dA, is 2 pi r dr. So you put that into the integral and it becomes j 2 pi r dr. You know j is a function of r. You can pop that in, 6 r squared by r the r, and we would integrate from zero to the edge of the wire, capital R. So this becomes 12 pi r cubed and integrates r to the four over four from zero to r. So that the total current in the wire would be three pi r to the four. And that would be the answer for the total current in the wire.